Okay. Now where? Oh. Never mind. What's whose name? Cool name. When I left the warehouse, I saw Pewter. What is he doing here? Walked up to me while I was trying to work it out. Date, I have to talk to you about something. Huh? About the original Cyclops serial killings. Why this all of a sudden? Because I want to see out this case, Mr. Like, Date. Lombardi punches Pewter. Like, you're not allowed! <laughs> I want you to find who did this and bring them to justice. So, if I can help you, even a little. Why didn't you say anything at Abyss? The boss was there. I couldn't speak openly in front of her. So, I decided to meet you here. But I thought you were a villain. All right. Let's hear it. Earlier. I told you that I was completely certain the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. <laughs> this is the dumbest flashback ever. <laughs> I am absolutely certain. <laughs> well, I just like, he's like, earlier I told you this, and then flashbacks to him saying exactly what he just said he told us. Like, yeah, I am absolutely certain. Let me explain why. Uh, <laughs> That you that it couldn't have been him. I am absolutely certain that it couldn't have been it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll start by telling you the identity of the Cyclops killer. I Although thought it wasn't solved. It's more accurate to say killers. More than one? In the first series of killings, the culprit had an accomplice. One of them was born a murderous psychopath. Var How do you prove they were born that way? <sighs> the other the world may Rohan never know Kumakura, the previous chairman oh, of the maybe she's born that way <laughs> maybe it's murderine murderine nice 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 that that's the name of next D, &D character <laughs> murderine murderine she, is your uh she, she's your very little very cursed, gentle uh, gnome yeah, yeah, there's Murderine, and she's never hurt anybody or gotten in a fight, despite having the massive axe. Uh. <laughs> they each had a role to play. The murderer committed the homicide, and Rohan removed the eyeball. Wait, Rohan? Oh, they said Rohan. Wait, he was one of the... Huh. Stacked containers. Those containers are stacked. A police officer. A police officer. A hologram barrier. The water of Tokyo Bay. Uh, oil drum. Oops. Warehouse is all in the line. Fine, okay. Peter. Uh, what should we ask? Who is the murderous psychopath? He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin is a peptide hormone linked to feelings of love, affection, and trust. Okay, so literally a psychopath. It is colloquially yeah. referred to as the love hormone. It causes I wish I could have some oxytocin right now. And relieve stress. Uh, it is I mean, uh, uh, goofs, am I right? Such as an embrace um, or caress. Oh boy! I'm sure oh. you know what this implies, but he was unable to feel love in the way that we do. However, he was able to experience a substitute. His brain mm. was wired in such a way that allowed him to feel satisfaction through other means. Why are there due to the unique idiosyncrasies of his brain, he was able to release large amounts of dopamine and endorphins by performing a certain action. Killing? What was it? Dabbing. Cut cutting out a left eye? Murder. Dabbing. Dopamine Can is you a hormone imagine? linked to the reward system of the brain. The pleasant feeling attained through accomplishment is dopamine. Endorphins are a kind of brain narcotic. They dull pain and create a feeling of happiness. 
Do you have to define what all these are? I bet, like, Date should know this. It's slightly more complicated than that. Killing people was the only way he could get pleasure. He was 12 when he took his first life. That enlightened him to the pleasure of murder, which he would do again and again. Okay, now what? Uh, about Rohan. 18 years ago, Rohan took a woman's eye. She was already dead. He put his finger into her eye socket and gouged Ew. it. The reason why was simple. He was fascinated by women's eyes. That's... <laughs> Their beauty Kay. stimulated his greed and his desire to possess them. He needed to have Do they look any different? Make them his own. Driven by this instinctive impulse, he took the woman's eye. Like, is there any difference in eyes? They're just eyes. I don't think so. Yeah, they're just eyes. <laughs> if you pull them out, they wouldn't look any different. From then on. He acquired a grotesque obsession with the eyes of dead women. He was very particular about his need that the eye belonged to a deceased woman. But even being the head of a Yakuza gang, there weren't too many opportunities for him to indulge. His deepest, darkest desire went unfulfilled for years. However, he soon met his ideal partner, the aforementioned psychopath. The Cyclops killer would commit the murder, and Rohan would take the eye. Thus, a mutually beneficial relationship was established. It's a weird relationship. This was the origin of the Cyclops serial killings. Cool name said they were roommates. They were roommates. At about the same time, you were assigned to Abyss. Why did the Cyclops case get classified? That... I don't know. The details of the original Cyclops serial killings case have become nebulous over time. Even the official investigation material contains nothing of value. I am unable to draw any conclusions from them. You really have no idea? If I did, I would tell you. Summarize for me. The original Cyclops killer had an accomplice. There were two Cyclops killers. And one of them was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. Rohan Kumakura? Rohan committed suicide by jumping to his death one year ago. That means... What happened to his eyeball collection? <laughs> Pewter, tell me this. One of the original killers is dead, I know that. But that means one remains. Who is he? After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. They actually picked him up on other charges. So he was 12 when he did his first murder. Okay. And he only did four. But in any case, he is currently serving a life sentence. 89! Prison. Fuchu <clears throat> prison? Yes. What's his name? <gasps> he 89 came up with... No, he came up with Iris' nickname, Aset. But Iris' name is Iris, which is I-related. Yeah, yeah. In prison, he doesn't have a name. He is simply called Number 89. Number 89? <laughs> I know who killed Shogun Adami. So, now you know why I said that. That the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. Because one is dead and the other is behind bars. Neither of them had the opportunity. Uh, Date or Marble? Date. Let's go home for no reason. <laughs> cool, it's a pewter. Can I have the eyeball collection? <laughs> like, does he keep them in a jar? Does they just are they just like loose in a sack? Like, how does he store these eyeballs? Oh, there goes Discord again. What an awkward time. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> welcome back. Or myself, the, welcome the, back. The 
internet did not or discord did not like me discussing how he stores his eyes okay i guess we'll never know we'll never know mizuki's curled up on the sofa why is she upset now she looks like a small animal frightened by a predator just because both your parents died and your two best friends so basically everybody you care about do you have you have date Uh, I don't think we're getting any banter. Uh, what should we talk to her about? Um, about the Okura fishery called Storage Warehouse. Nope. What else? Iris. Alright, cool. <laughs> Mizuki must know about Iris and Ota. Of course. The news was distributed heavily across the internet. Not just in Japan, but worldwide. Three days ago, Mizuki discovered her mother's body. Two days ago, her father's. This morning, two of her best friends. It is completely understandable that she is at her mental limit. Can I be left alone for a while? Are you okay? Of course she's not okay. Yeah. What a dumb question. Certainly didn't seem so. Of course she didn't seem so! But I can't stay by her side forever. Yeah, contact Abyss. See if they can get Mizuki a good counselor. <laughs> she's gonna need a little more of the counseling, bro. <laughs> Understood. Stayed with her for a little while, but we didn't speak. Having nothing more to say, I left. Mizuki's staring at the floor. Okay, well, Mizuki's broken. On to marble. Hopefully Mama's okay. Are you okay, honey? Huh? About last night. Well, at three in the morning, anyway. You know about it? It's on every channel. You have the face of a ghost. Do you want a glass? I don't need a drink. I need information. Do you have anything? Well, let's see. I do have... I suppose you could call it intuition. Tell me. Uh, does this... Oh, no banter. So the banterless timeline. The Kumakuras are involved in this case. Remember what I told you before? That there's a relationship between Ren and the Kumakuras? Shoko also has a relationship with them. You know about her dealings with the Kumakuras, right? The Kumakuras wouldn't kill Iris. Yeah, but so we don't know that yet. Two of the victims are linked to the Kumakuras. That must mean they're involved somehow, right? Not two. Three. Three? Iris? No, not that one. The boy. He came here last night. Ota? Yes, from Matsushita Diner. He's linked to the Kumakuras as well. How? Have you heard the rumor? Mama told me a similar story to Ibis about Soshijima in the Kawasaki district. The basic idea is this. Eight years ago, So sold his land in the Kabasaki district for 30 billion yen. Half a year later, an explosion at the chemical plant caused the land prices to drop drastically. So, brought, so brought, bought back the land, land for 1 billion yen. Almost like he knew beforehand that the accident would happen. Did So blow it up or conspire to blow it up? No, that wouldn't make sense. So wouldn't gain anything from that. He'd end up with 29 billion in cash and 1 billion in land. So not zero. There's more to the story. The Kumakuras own a handful of real estate companies. They of course look legit, but they're Yakuza fronts. I'll call those real estate companies the KE to keep it simple for you. The KE followed in So's footsteps. They bought up land in Kabasaki. Oh, so in the Kabasaki district. 
Now, back to So. Have you heard of the plans for the casino in Kabasaki? So was the one who came up with it. I was born and raised in Kabasaki. I remember the landscape of my childhood, and I loved it dearly. But look at Kabasaki now. When I see images of the destruction on television, my heart aches like it's being chopped to pieces. But I promise you, I will revive the Kabasaki district at any cost. Casino Town Kabasaki will give new life to the city. After that, so moved fast. Gotta go fast. He submitted the bills he needed to the National Assembly after drumming up support in the right places. The bills passed and it became an official government initiative. Decontamination efforts therefore increased at a rapid pace in the Kabasaki district. At the moment, the area is still considered off limits. However, the air in Kabasaki is currently purified to such an extent that it has no negative effect on the human body. If the plan goes smoothly, land prices in Kabasaki are going to skyrocket. And all that land is owned by the KE. And by So himself. The land he bought back for one billion will be worth ten times that soon. He's involved in some shady business. About So in the Kabasaki district. This is just another rumor, but the chemical plant exploding was no accident. Chemical plant. It was done intentionally. By so in the Kumakuras, you mean? But there's no hard evidence. Oh, Oda, you haven't said it all how he's connected. What are we talking about again? Oh, my God. Ota and the Kumakuras. Oh, right. You know how Matsushita Diner is close to the Kabasaki district? Yeah. The chemical plant explosion made times hard. Foot traffic went down, sales declined. No wonder it closed down. Ota must hold a grudge. Someone caused that explosion. And if it was intentional, oh, he'd hate them even more. That's how I link Ota to the Kumakuras. That is a very loose connection. You there? Yeah. You've been kind of quiet. I'm just vibing. Thank you, Mama. I don't know if what you told me will lead to anything, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. No, no. It was very helpful. I'm glad I can help. Even if it's just a little. Well then, be seeing you. Come you back didn't really time. help at all. Also, the mood to this timeline is a lot more grim so like i i just it doesn't feel quite right to like goof as much come on we can goof i know it'll offset like, offset the awkwardness of how dark it is everybody's like really sad right now so like normally i just like mama was a sad fun. i make fun of what they were saying but like everybody's like big espresso depresso so i'm like mama oh, wasn't <sighs> yeah I mean, she was kind of sad. It was, it was all conspiracy theory. Nice it was. No, that Oda has a connection to the Kamakuras. Nice it was. The Kamakuras and Nice it are together conspiring to. That's a different uh, timeline. Put chemicals in the water to turn the freaking frogs gay. Why does it take so long to load? <laughs> Listen, this is a very, a, a very detailed polygonal room with a lot of uh, 3D effects. Did the game crash? It might have. Hello? Yeah, the visual novel should not take this long to load. It's never taken this long. Uh, that's not going to change anything. What do I do? Do I close out and reopen? It auto saves, right? Yeah. Does it auto save? There's an auto save function, yeah. 
I don't know when's the last autosave, but you know. God, what the heck? It's definitely it, this isn't right. There's it's broken. Okay. Make it so you can see. There we go. The okay. Why is is the window in focus? Yeah. Why is controller not want not responding? <sighs> Game. There we go. Okay, auto save. Twenty-seven. So it was three minutes ago. Oh, they're sad. They're sad. That guy's not sad. That guy's not sad. She's sad. She's not sad. Sad. I was only like 50% sad. <laughs> oh, there we go. As it okay. loads in like <laughs> 0.4 seconds this time. Well, it definitely wasn't working before. I returned to boss's office to report. <laughs> Happy birth. Well, I didn't see the day. Happy I didn't birth. see her anywhere. Where did she go? Well, she isn't always here, correct? True. No, she lives here. I sat down in my usual seat and decided to wait for boss. What are you doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we have to talk about? A summary of the investigation, perhaps? What summary? We don't have anything new. That's not true. Huh? I was curious, so I did some research <laughs> about number 89. This isn't a summary, then, if you're introducing new information. Uh, I don't think anything's going to have any... You know, I, I could tell by clicking this guy. No, nothing. Uh, what about number 89, are we asking? Uh, what's 89's real name? Unknown. You don't know? No such person is listed in the family registry. It is possible he is a foreigner, but his nationality is unknown. However, I believe it is safe to say that he was born and raised in Japan. Okay. Now what? What about uh, who is 89? <laughs> Isn't it the same thing? As you know, he is an assassin with multiple confirmed yeah. kills. He is currently serving a sentence at Fuchu Prison. He was imprisoned six years ago. Is he an assassin? I thought he was just a murderer. What's the difference? What? Assassin, the difference? Assassin, you're doing it for a job, like other people are paying you to, right? It sounds like you're just doing it just because. That's what Pewter told us. After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. Computer never said he was an assassin, though. Okay, what's now? Shoko uh, or the NCSK? Shoko. Unknown. I cannot determine if they have any connection. Approximately one month ago, Hitomi Sagan witnessed Shoko in Fuchu Prison's waiting room. I am unable to say for certain that the person she was there to visit was number 89. After all, Fuchu Prison houses 2,000 inmates. But number 89 knew Shoko's name. I know who killed Shoko Nadami. That must mean that he knew her somehow. It is possible. Uh, not then CSK. Pewter claims that there were two culprits behind the original serial killings. One was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. But Rohan committed suicide last year. Uh uh. Give me one second. I guess we're taking a 
very brief break, hopefully. Uh, I'll use this opportunity to remind everybody that uh, we have one other stream this week, which will be Thursday at 5 p.m. We will be doing uh, the Majora's Mask Randomizer. And uh, yeah, next week's schedule is, I believe, identical. So it'll be this at on Tuesday at 6 and Majora's Mask Randomizer on Thursday at 5. Are you back? I return. Okay. That leaves one culprit still alive. Number 89. But number 89 couldn't possibly have committed these crimes. He was in jail when each of the murders occurred. What if he did it remotely? Correct. However, I do not believe it is accurate to claim that he had nothing to do with the incident. I know who killed Shogun Adami. If he was telling the truth, his involvement is possible. Does he have to be the one to commit the murder to get the, uh, the, like, good feeling in his brain? Or can he tell somebody else to do it? <laughs> and get, like, a lesser that's a, amount? That's a good question. <laughs> Let's talk to number 89. Let's this is a bad idea. 89. I don't know if he's telling the truth or if he's full of it, but he's our last remaining loose end. All right. However, we need not go to him. We can bring him to us. No, it's a bad idea. If we plan on sinking with him, it would be more efficient. We're gonna sink with him? Can you arrange that? I can. After cutting through some red tape, number 89 was to be brought to HQ. It took considerable time to arrive. For some reason, boss never showed up. Wait, is... Did Pewter just say this so we would bring 89 out for questioning? Because Pewter Probably. helped him escape last time. Yeah. Okay, this is already feeling like too long of a load time. Okay, phew. Okay. <gasps> Seek way out. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your busy day, but I need you to tell me something. I'd appreciate your cooperation. Uh... Do you know Shokun Adami? Straight to the point. Yeah, I guess I do. About a month ago, Shoko visited Fuchu Prison. Was she there to see you? That's right. What did you talk about? Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Then why did she come? To meet me. Meet you? She probably just wanted to see me. When did you first meet Shoko? A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. What's your relationship to her? A physical one. Oh? I'm kidding. She was just a business partner. Oh. Yeah, he, he only gets pleasure out of killing. He wouldn't get pleasure out of any sort of physical relationship. Unless he was physically killing. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, now what? You're the original Cyclops killer, aren't you? Not even going to ask his name. <laughs> no. That's right. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. One of the two Cyclops killers. Oh, what's your name or where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. Population 17 million. I don't have time for your jokes. What's your name? Number 89. Your real name. I don't remember. Who killed Shoko Nadami? 
All right, let's get right down to it. Two days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? It's done. You've got a deal. All right. But to explain it properly, I need to tell you a story. It might take some time. Is that all right with you? I've got nothing but time. Then let's get started. The story of a lonely assassin. Huh. Once upon a time, there was a detective full of righteous justice. Let's call him F. F found the evils of the world intolerable. Falco Lombardi. He had no parents, no siblings, and grew up in an orphanage since he was born. He suffered every kind of abuse imaginable there. It led him to despise all the evils of the world. One day, F was chasing a thug down at the harbor. Someone wanted for the assault and murder of women. Okay, I get it. I'll just throw down my knife. Here. And you lower your gun. It's fine. I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right back out again. What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. <laughs> that that's too many. He's already dead. <laughs> the culprit was unarmed, but F never served a day in prison. The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined to be self-defense, and he was declared innocent. If the truth got out, it would be a huge scandal for the police. People at the upper level were terrified of what might happen. So they had evidence fabricated. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. After a while, he returned to his job like nothing happened. That was a turning point for him. He was ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. F still wanted justice, and he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by one. He became an assassin, a lone gunman, no agent, no employer. He was his own man. F believed that he was judge, jury, and executioner. But it didn't last long. Achievement unlocked. Appendix analyst. Oh, we got the full appendix? We Just now? Just suddenly? Please? We don't have it full. Uh, KE Association. That's weird that we suddenly got it. Yeah. Endorphins. Appendix. Totally Endorphins. unrelated to dolphins. AI, some. Uh, savior. I already looked at that. Collected a hundred appendix files. Collage. To glue in French. Uh. Sort of reminds me of Mormon bubbles. Tell someone you love to image search it. <laughs> <laughs> You know I have to AI Somnium file? Mormon. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh, I know, no, this is, I mean, I know, I've no, I know what this was. Um, it's the, you've probably seen it online, maybe, I don't know. I've been on message boards most of my life, so I've seen it. It's I when you take an image and you cover the image in a block color and then you make circles to reveal part of the of the body that is not what i thought it was <laughs> oh yeah no it, it's yeah you strategically leave color where the articles of clothing would be so your brain makes it look like the person is nude even though they could be in like a bathing suit or in like regular clothing like that's that's what mormon bubbles are God, why is there one of kids? Oh, that's tragic. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hate the internet. I hate the internet. I hate it so much. I didn't get one with with kids on it. I literally, I got like 
what did you search for? I literally just just Mormon, Mormon bubbles. bubbles. I just did Mormon bubbles. Yeah. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I was clicking one of them. Results. And uh, and there, you know how when you click an image below, there's a oh, bunch of related images. Ones? Yeah, I gave a related oh, image yeah. to one of the images and it had kids. Oh, no, that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Tell somebody you have to look it up and get put on a <laughs> list. Also, a client is an ant familiar with command line user interfa interfaces. Oh, a client. A client. A client. Judge, jury, and executioner. Uh, good. All of that dissimilar to boss. Juro, we already saw. Standalone. Wow. that's Nobody knew what standalone meant. Kawasaki District. Uh, dopamine. Uh, yeah. Posterior pituitary gland. Uh, okay. Peptide hormone. Had nothing to do with energetic tides. Oh, and we got that. Interesting. Okay. One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. X was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. Turns out, X had connections. Someone was happy that he died. Rohan Kumakura, chairman of the Kumakuras. X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth. But somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, or natural causes. Amazing work. I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no, but it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Thus, F's self-employment came to an end. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name, Falco. Named for the falcon, a bird of prey. <gasps> Captain Falcon? Lombardi. Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer, though. He worked as a I told you his name was Douglas Lombardi. You don't believe me. The will of the organization. You were like, no, that's not 89. I'm like, yeah, it is 89. They haven't said this is 89. He said this is the guy who did He's 18 kills. He's referring to himself. Look at the in media res flashback. But they said that 89 only killed four people before he was arrested. Yeah, he, he changed identities and became 89 serial killer extraordinaire when his identity as Douglas Lombardi fell through. But they said the first of his four kills, he was 12. Ah, fair, fair. This doesn't add up. That's fair. An ordinary killer would need motive to take a life, but not Falco. He did as he was told, one target after another. It didn't take long to destroy his heart completely. I feel like Pewter left Time stuff passed, out, though. And a few years back, Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Somehow, he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. He had no strength left. He put his back up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath that he thought might be his last. But at that moment... In his darkening vision, he saw a woman <gasps> approach him. It's a... Hitomi. She's been wearing the same sweater for years. 
which is the only thing she owns. He wants that to take sweater. out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps. Footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman and pulling her close, kissing her to keep her from talking. That was the first encounter between Falco and the woman. She was a teacher at some school. It was like she was from a totally different world than him. Listening to her talk, he would forget everything about his line of work. I'm just so confused because I can't get past the fact that Pewter said that 89's first victim was when he was 12. But 89's story, not only is there more than four victims, but the first one, he was already a detective. See, I'm telling you, the math doesn't add up. He's lying. Somebody's lying. He's Falco Lombardi. <laughs> she was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. They met in secret a few more times, and Falco felt his heart grow warmer. But he's not supposed to be able to feel love! Her smile and kindness were like a cold glass of water for Falco's parched heart. Falco started to become himself again. His former self. He swore is, on his life. Is Falco, is Falco and the Cyclops killer the same person, or are you just making that assumption? Uh... Pewter said it was number 89 was the the Cyclops killer. That's why I said it couldn't be the same person for these ones. Fair. That from then on, he would live for her. But I don't know why Pewter would lie and say that. So, you want to go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But... There is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? But it's the one that he's in love with. Falco, a picture of a woman and a girl. It was the teacher Falco met at the shrine. And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Why the two of them? Rohan, as usual, never gave a reason. And Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. He thought long and hard. How is he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer, no matter how hard he thought. He was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. And then... Silence. For some reason he wouldn't open his mouth again. Oh, I get it. He got Rohan to commit Falco, suicide? Falco, yeah, Falco had Pewter, like, have Rohan sync with somebody and past the six minutes so like their consciousness merged and like it caused the mental collapse and like that was a favor hmm because remember rohan threw himself off of a he did uh, yeah hospital. i just didn't know that's how it works when the six minutes go by i thought that's what they said that like two consciousness like embody the same brain and like it, you're you can't handle this so you have a mental uh, mental collapse and then you made a joke about persona yeah but I didn't think they'd like how to get him to the top of the building and stuff I don't well he probably got himself to the top of the building like because he got he, he he was at a hospital and he woke up from his coma and threw himself off of a window uh what should we ask him Was that the whole story? Was that the whole story? <laughs> now what? What's the connection between that and Shoko? What's the connection between that and Shoko? 
Well, might as well have you pick one more. You mentioned a detective. You mentioned a detective. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Answer me. Hey, answer me. This is a transaction, remember? Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end of the bargain, I'm not telling you anything else. I'll give you half up front, half later. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. Oh, crap. Great. Great. Why? Hello. Why? It's not even me. My I'm a hundred percent stuck. I need now. to I need to try to try to look into this before next time. We're just about done, so Date, it is unlikely that number eighty nine will uphold his promise, even upon release. Pewter. Yes? Start the preparations. For what? What do you think? <sighs> the sink. Oh, we don't have why time would, for a sink. Why would 89 agree to be synced? I don't think he agreed. I have injected number 89 with the usual dosage. He will not be waking up anytime soon. Are you ready, Agent Date? Yeah. The time limit is six minutes. Well, we're going to have no. to save right at the start of this, because this is we don't have time for a full sink. Let's begin. Unless it was actually six minutes in real time, in which case we would have exactly enough time. Well, we have five minutes. Oh no, it took me a whole minute to get my ID out. We're not gonna have enough time. <laughs> Brain Blast! I can save here, right? I better be able to save here. Is this. Sup? No, not sup. Why are you sleeping on the job? Because I want to, obviously. Why are you getting mad at me? Yeah, this rug feels so good on my skin, yeah. Why are you a cat? Why are you suddenly a cat? Playtime's over. Let's begin. <laughs> well, why are you suddenly on their back again? <laughs> okay, I, I'm worried it's not going to let us save once we start, so I'd probably just save here. Sure, sure. <laughs> good time is on eight. Okay, we're only at 280,000 bits. Bites? Bites.